It is soupy out there this morning with all that fog and with the forecast like it's been the last couple of days and the way it's looking for the weekend. Soup just sounds it's good. Perfect. Isn't, isn't it? it? I, know. I know. Patty Mastracco is here from Rayleigh with a couple of great soup recipes. This is so exciting for everybody. I'm walking in. People are saying soup. Yay! I know. <laughs> it just sounds, it just I sounds know, great. The timing is right. So which yeah. ones are we doing here? Okay, so I have an assortment of um, soups. Creamy, mm -hmm. not creamy. I just tried to give you a whole good variety. So this is a broccoli soup. And to me, it's all about what you put on top, too. So I just took some cubes of bread and I put it in a skillet with a little olive oil and made them uh, kind of crispy mm -hmm. and then threw in a little Asiago cheese. Nice. So the cheese gets a little bit crusty on there. Well, and then you get a little crunchy in your meal. Yeah, exactly. Which I think so, is nice. Which is great. Creamy, crunchy. Yeah, it's all about textures as well as temperature. So, and then I put a little chopped fresh parsley. And this is just a real traditional potato leek soup. And then I'm going to put a little bacon on that. And this is one of my favorites, it's carrot coriander. I actually ordered Ooh. it in Scotland after we'd been flying for like two days. Yeah. And as soon as I ordered it, I thought, that sounds terrible. Why did I order that? It was so good, I had two bowls. House. And you still remember it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it is, it, it's one of my go-to soups. Carrot and coriander. Car yeah, so it's ground coriander, so it's very easy, really healthy with is lots of Is it a carrots. sweet soup? Nope, it's, it's savory. So onions and celery and carrots, and but really tasty, really good for you. So, great, great yeah. ideas. And this looks a little bit more traditional. Yeah, that's just a Mexican potato soup with, with black beans and corn and just lots loaded with lots of vegetables. So, great. That's, yeah. you know, that's a great, like, you probably got those staples in your pantry. It really you is. You just toss it together. And it's one of those things you could kind of mix and match if you don't have a can of corn, throw mm -hmm. in another can of beans, or, you know, it's it's not going to kill it if you if you mix it up a little bit. Good to know. So, what are you doing here in the you pan? You know, this is just one of my tips is you always want to take your vegetables and don't just put them into the liquid, but either roast them or saute them until they're nice and brown. You're just going to get a much richer flavor out of it than if you just dump everything and cook it together. Interesting. And so do you get better bite out of it then when you're eating? It holds together better in the soup? It definitely does because it, it, you can see it, you know, it forms kind of a little a little crust on it. So mm -hmm. And even if you're pureeing it, it's just the flavor is so much richer. Okay. So, and and then here I have our traditional French onion soup, one of my favorites. And uh, you know, traditionally you put the, the bread on top and you just coat it yes. with cheeses, Gruyere and Parmesan. Oh and it, you know, if you don't have an oven proof bowl and you can't do that, what I did is I just put the bread on a baking sheet and, and topped it with the cheeses and then just broiled it a little bit. And then you can just dunk one in each of the soups. Right. Can we talk broth for a moment? Yeah. So All there right. is a difference between stock and broth. And the difference is? Uh, stock is a little more pure. It's cooked with the bones. So you get a, the rich flavor comes from the bones and broth is uh, a little bit, it's, it, is usually uh, more of a, it's not cooked with the bones, but it could be cooked with meat and vegetables. And broth actually has about 30% more sodium as well. So if it you're- It does? Yeah. If I thought it was the opposite. No, stock always has less sodium. So if you're looking, soups tend to be high in sodium anyway. Right. So I usually stick with stock because you can always add salt, but you can't take it away. So, I had no idea I've been doing it backwards all these years. Yeah, no. Yeah, the, the stock is just a more pure. The bones add a lot of flavor. I don't think people realize that no, bones have, if you right. roast the bones and vegetables, they bring out a, you know, a lot more flavor. Mm -hmm. You know who does that? Teo. Look at him go. He I know. Have been I here, did look right? at There's surprise in the entire room. No, Teo does. He, <laughs> okay. He's made his own broth, and it, I know because he him. talks about it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Patty. Great ideas. These are just a few, and you can always, of course, find more in the Something Extra available with Rayleigh's and Rayleigh's.com.